Behavior modeling in educational psychology refers to the process by which learners acquire new behaviors through observation and imitation of others. This approach is grounded in the belief that much of human learning occurs socially through the observation of others within a context, a concept stemming from Albert Bandura's social learning theory. Bandura, a key figure in educational psychology, posited that people learn from one another via observation, imitation, and modeling, making this concept particularly relevant in educational settings. The concept of behavior modeling has been integrated into educational practices since the mid 20th century, largely influenced by the broader acceptance of social learning theory. Originally observed in therapeutic contexts, the technique was quickly adopted in classrooms as educators realized the potential of role models in shaping student behavior and learning techniques. Behavior modeling has since evolved to encompass a wide range of educational strategies that use example and imitation as their core tools for teaching. An illustrative example of behavior modeling in educational settings is seen in the way teachers demonstrate problem solving in mathematics. A teacher may solve a problem on the board, employing specific strategies while articulating their thought process. Students watch and then attempt to solve similar problems using the modeled strategies. This method is also prevalent in teaching literacy, where teachers model reading strategies like predicting text content or summarizing a passage, which students then practice in guided sessions. There are significant strengths to employing behavior modeling in educational contexts. First, it provides a clear, observable example for learners to follow, simplifying complex behaviors into manageable, observable actions. This can be particularly effective for learners who may struggle with abstract concepts without concrete examples. Moreover, behavior modeling promotes active engagement and participation, which are critical for deep learning. It also supports the development of non-cognitive skills, such as empathy, by observing and imitating emotional responses in social interactions. However, behavior modeling is not without criticisms. One major critique is that it may not fully address the need for learners to develop autonomous problem-solving skills. By focusing on imitation, there is a risk that learners may become dependent on examples and less capable of independent critical thinking when unguided scenarios arise. Additionally, the success of behavior modeling can heavily depend on the individual learner's ability to observe and replicate actions which can vary widely. This variation can lead to inconsistent outcomes among learners, with some benefiting more than others from this approach. Overall, behavior modeling is recognized as a powerful tool for influencing student behavior and facilitating learning. While it has proven effective in numerous educational scenarios, it is crucial for educators to balance this approach with strategies that encourage independent thinking and problem solving. 